The new clean energy on the market appears to be denser than water, different from common fuels and oils. The 1.27 grams per cubic centimeter density when it is poured into a fuel tank protects against metal rusting and reduces friction. Hatajikima Navinust is an engineer for NASA's Clean Sky Trading Company in the East and Central African region. The use of this fuel reduces the rate of gas emissions at the rate of 90%. That means that it allows people to inhale good air. Samuel Moranzi, the Director of Engineering and Urban Planning Standards Unit at the Rwanda Standards Board RSB, noted that the laboratory testing done by the agency proved the fuel to be standard in terms of reducing air pollutions that results from vehicle fumes. There are many vehicles in circulation that contribute to air pollution, but we cannot dump them. We rather find ways to reduce the damage they cause in terms of air pollution. So we found out that the fuel can help unless used in a bad way. Even looking in other parts of the world like America and Asia, this type of fuel is being used. The oil is said to have the capacity to reduce air pollution at the rate of 90%, reduce metal friction by 90%. Save fuel by 25% and increase vehicle lifespan by 47%. One of those who have been using this oil that is commonly termed as iron vitamin says since he started using it, his car has been functioning better. Before using this oil, my engine used to have a lot of complications but that reduced ever since I started using it. The engine is stronger and consumes less fuel than before. 13% of Rwanda's gas emissions is caused by vehicles, while construction activities such as roads and other activities that use fuel account for 14% of the total emissions. The number of vehicles on the Rwandan soil has increased from 88,621 in 2010 to 161,925 in 2015. 28.6% of these vehicles are old and air pollutants at the rate of 58%. Rwanda's climate change mitigation measures indicate that the country will reduce air pollution by 38%, equivalent to 4.6 million poisonous substances in the air. The program will cost 11 billion US dollars over the next decade from 2021 to 2030.